so excited for our next guest because every time he comes in, I find a reinvigorated interest in the history that I never learned about in school. So without further ado, let's welcome Brian Bullock from PBS's Hidden History. Hey. Hey. How are you? Good to see you. Always good to good hang to out with you, you all. Too. And I'm happy to hear that you get reinvigorated. I love it. Yes. 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 I love having you. Now, I already said it. I'll say it again. I love what Hidden History is all about. Yeah. Can you tell us what the most current episode is about? Absolutely. The first, this recent episode is in Cobham, Virginia. And we highlight Lorenzo Dickerson, who's actually a filmmaker, and Sam Toller, who does this amazing research um, he actually helped Lorenzo figure out his lineage. Now, we know that African-American lineage has been very difficult to track. Mm -hmm, right. Um, and so, you know, the uniqueness about this is how he actually does it. He, he goes through court records, old court records and documents, and, and pieces together names. Wow. Very litigious back in those days, and it's, a, it's very painstaking work, but he's done an amazing job. Incredible. And it's such important work that he's doing too. Yeah, a lot, lot of, lot of you know, African American family history has just not been pieced together, and so this, this unique technique, research technique, has just been amazing. Yes, I love it because people can just find and research actually the the past, right? right? And put pieces together. So, Brian, why is this episode so appropriate for Black History Month? You know, during Black History Month, appropriately, we, we always, you know, talk about the usual suspects, you know, mm -hmm. the, and, and here in Virginia, L. Douglas Wilder, you know, Fort Monroe, and we, we, we do that work. But I'm encouraging people that during this month to search your own family history. Mm -hmm. That's, that's it's, it's still black history. Exactly. And right. it, you know, it is just, you know, it, it's that it's a time that we still should honor folks, but honor your own family as well and do that research. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so that's a really good point. Have you done your own family's yeah, that's research? Great, great question. <laughs> and you know, I, I have. I started uh, my history some years ago researching it. And um, this, this Lorenzo and Sam Toller episode, I actually learned, you know, kind of some, some new stuff. I started by going to just the graveyard and, and, and looking at names of, of my family members and just kind of went from there. Uh, but, you know, again, with this most recent episode, I have now I have some new mm -hmm. research techniques. <clears throat> Ooh, did you yeah. that, that gives me chills. Yeah. Yes. Did yeah. you find anything you want to share with us? Um, you know, I, I, I found I. <laughs> I can't share it yet. I can't share it yet. But um, you know, another you know these the, these new platforms, ancestry platforms, that kind of yes, that gives us a lot too. Okay, I was going that in that direction. Some people they're watching now and they're listening to you. They want to do it. Where do they start to do the whole process? Yeah. And let's think someone that is not so much familiar with social media or these new tools that the websites offers. Yeah, you know the, the good old fashioned you know Bibles. Okay. You know, um, oral histories, um, just digging through old papers um, that are st stuck in the attic. You just you start there, right. or, and like I said, just going to mm -hmm. the going to the cemetery and just p picking out names and, and, names. and pe piecing yeah. things together. Um, and then you know you can also um, contact you know local genealogy societies mm -hmm. that you know they're more professional. But I just encourage people just start somewhere just start and with the and family too because they can ask exactly. maybe someone in the family that they know more about you know new generations we don't we don't talk much about yeah. like how we do before in african-american history is a lot of it is oral so right. you start there start with with the elders and just work your way through yeah yep. now really quickly for any of our viewers who haven't caught you on our show before can you tell us quickly what hidden history is about Hidden history is just uncovering and highlighting things that don't normally get covered. Things right. we pass by every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or things that we just may not think, that's not, that's not, what's so big about that? When it actually, it really is a big deal. So I get to go around Virginia and, and meet people and interview people that, um, 
that have incredible, incredible history. And we invite everyone Amazing. to check on the screen is the website. If you didn't see his show yet, yes. you can go and check Brian's work there. I love your work and your experience, and that's awesome to meet people yes. and also teach us about history. Definitely love check it. out his show for all the history you didn't learn about in your textbooks. We have to take a quick break, but when we return, we are learning more about black history that happened right here in the 757. Don't go away.